In the studio today by Umid Shokri, who's um, an energy specialist, an energy security analyst. Umid, um, first of all, can you just... Um, and to discuss this, I'm joined in the studio. And to discuss this, I'm joined in the studio today by Umid Shokri, who's um, an energy specialist, an energy security analyst. Umid, um, first of all, can you just um, explain for us what is the, the scope of the discovery of, um, of natural gas in the Black Sea and, and how, was it, how was it found? Yeah, thanks for having me. As you are aware, Turkey importing more than 90% of oil and gas from the other countries, and uh, Turkey is dependency of energy from the energy security perspective. Uh, since the last two decades, Turkey is trying to find the natural gas and oil in Black Sea and East Mediterranean Sea. And as you are aware, by August 2020, Turkey found uh, natural gas in uh, Black Sea in Sakarya gas field, and uh, uh, by the 2021st, uh, Turkey added new volume of a discovery in this field and at present Turkey holds I mean more than for uh, 500 billion and 40 uh, BCM of natural gas in this field and trying to bring uh, natural gas from this field by uh, next year I mean early next year and in this regard uh, a discovery of a new oil and gas field mainly for Turkey as an energy consumer with its uh, growing economy means that Turkey Turkey will, uh, will be more sufficient from domestic resource and will be able to have upper hand in future oil and gas, mainly natural gas contract. As I mentioned, in Turkey is dependency uh, for natural gas for, for Russia, Iran, Azerbaijan, and from an energy perspective, for, uh, to UA, the US, Qatar, and uh, some uh, African countries. If Turkey will be able to bring natural gas from Sakarya gas field by next year and coming years, we'll be able to gradually decrease dependency of foreign, uh, uh, foreign uh, resource and also has a potential to more invest in renewable energy and hydrogen and also uh, uh, energy tra uh, transition process as well, uh, all together helps Turkey to be more sufficient in energy uh, perspective and uh, will be able to invest in other sectors and uh, gradually decrease dependency of foreign resources. And it means Turkey has own energy security in its own hands. So this obviously is very important. As we can see the, um, the map here, the the, um, the, the southern part of the Black Sea, Filios yeah. um, Port is on, um, uh, on the northern uh, coast of Turkey. Yeah. Uh, next to um, next to Zonguldak, we have uh, Istanbul on, on the left. And yeah. uh, if Ankara was uh, on the map, it would be just, uh, I guess, under the T a little bit further down on the floor there. But uh, the, the, this looks like a tremendously huge area, in fact. Um, and the, the size of the, um, the, the gas reservoir, um, so to speak, no. is very large. How, how does it compare in terms of global terms? And, and um, obviously, we're very excited about the discovery of gas there. And the fact, it's going to be brought in um, starting from next year. But um, in, in terms of volume, is this a remarkable volume or...? Uh, yeah, if we compare the uh, natural gas discovery by Turkey in the Black Sea in Sakarya gas field with other discovery ar around the Turkey or in the Africa, we can see this discovery uh, will be one of the huge in, uh, natural gas discovery during the last decades. The main issue is that how Turkey will be able to bring in this natural gas from the Sakarya gas field and the economic situation. You know, Turkey uh, needs more investment to uh, in energy infrastructure and the Turkey has to uh, attract foreign financial capability and technology to bring gas uh, to uh, its own domestic natural gas grid. But the natural gas discovery for the Turkey as an energy consumer, I think, is a huge development regarding energy security and its foreign policy. When AKP came to power, trying to use energy import and energy as a leverage of foreign policy. And if Turkey has a good has a, to uh, bring own uh, natural gas, own uh, the renewable energy to own uh, electricity grid, uh, Turkey has an upper hand, as I mentioned, in the uh, the current energy equation in the region, I mean, East Mediterranean and Black Sea, and also in its relation with the neighbors and it, its relation with the Central Asia, Caspian Sea, and also its relation with the Iraq and Iran as well in coming years. 
Now, as, as I mentioned, Video Sport is, is next to Zongodak, which um, is already world famous for, uh, for coal production. Um, what is the significance of Video Sport and, and how has that developed over the last, I think, f uh, five years since 2016? Yes. Uh, they've been developing that in a particular industrial uh, area. Uh, is, is it accessible to the rest of Turkey and. Um, and what actually is going on in Philippines? Yeah, you know, in the first step, I think the, uh, the first majority for the Turkey to bring natural gas to the Black Sea region. And in the second and third phases, I mean the coming years by 2026 and 2028, Turkey will be able to bring gas from this field to whole Turkey as well. But, you know, uh, Turkey uh, uh, has to uh, integrate has to integrate natural gas network, I mean, uh, from the east to coast, fr from the east to west, from the north to south. And if Turkey will be integrated its own uh, natural gas uh, grid, Turkey will be able to bring gas from the uh, uh, Sakarya, I mean, uh, Black Sea to, I mean, to Hatay or to uh, maybe to uh, cars as well. But it needs more time and more investment in energy infrastructure. But in the first step, it is better to bring natural gas to uh, help the energy security of the Black Sea region. And in the second and third phases and other phases, maybe, you know, uh, Turkey is continuing energy, uh, energy discovery in the region and has a, a very good infrastructure, I mean, drilling vessel. And it, it, could, uh, it could help it to, I mean, find new reserve in the first step in the Black Sea and maybe in the East Mediterranean by coming years. Right, so I mean, that's, um, that's a very important point you're making. The, um, the investments being done now uh, are going to build the infrastructure for, for this region and across Turkey, which is very important, but also the ongoing exploration activities. Um, you mentioned the East Mediterranean as well, but also in the Black Sea, the, the, the drilling ships are continuing to uh, continuing their research. Yeah, yeah. As I mentioned, Turk, uh, during the last decade, Turkey has, has huge investment in the uh, in energy infrastructure and buying energy, uh, some uh, drilling vessel. By le uh, during the last two decades, Turkey just uh, uh, spent a lot of money to rent uh, this uh, uh, drilling vessel to uh, exploration. I mean, in the East Mediterranean, in the Black Sea, other region. But, uh, but during the last decade, Turkey has to buy uh, this uh, uh, vessel, and this gives help uh, Turkey to be more sufficient to exploration and uh, uh, in own territory, and maybe in the next decade, Turkey will be one of the um, uh, one of the uh, countries has a good potential in technology and financial, financial capability to uh, has an exploration uh, operation in the, some other countries. I mean, Africa or uh, East Asia, or maybe in uh, Caspian Sea and Central Asia as well. I was sitting here talking about energy. I'm, uh, I'm reminded uh, of a, a conference that I was a able to, to hear part of because I, I was transcribing it about 10, 15 years ago, I think. It, well, that must be 15 years ago now. And, and it was all about um, Turkey as an energy hub, as an energy corridor. And obviously, as you say, during the, um, the period of the AK Party, tremendous investment has been put into the infrastructure. And now we're seeing with Filios Port and, um, and, and this new gas about to come online, uh, more investment going in. Uh, so uh, on, on a global scale, what does, this, um, what does the world need to understand about how Turkey has moved forward now from, uh, from the last century? As you are aware, the uh, global energy market faced a huge energy crisis, and after that, by the end of February and after Russia invasion to Ukraine, all countries came to conclusion that the importance of uh, diversification of energy resource and importing more oil and gas from the more resource rather than uh, the one or two resource. And in this regard, Turkey to a particular position gave an opportunity to Turkey to import more uh, oil and gas from the other countries and also to be transit center. At present, I think Turkey is a transit center.